Well, hey folks, and welcome to Solar Cabin Channel. Hey, I've uh, done a review of several products uh, that can be used to cook uh, with the Generarc power station. And I love this unit. They changed the name recently to Geniverse, but they're the same company. Uh, this is the Home Power One unit. I use this here at my cabin. I'm off grid full time, and so I use it for a lot of cooking. I also take it with me camping. It is also an excellent unit if you have a power blackout or a power emergency or just need remote power uh, because it has a lot of power, uh, a lot of storage capacity, and can run a lot of tools and small cooking appliances. So, uh, today I'm going to be introducing you to another cooking appliance that I think is just absolutely excellent, excellent for off-gridders, camping, or a blackout power emergency. The, po the product that I'm going to be introducing is... Doggone you, Lamar! You're not going to replace my cast iron skillets! They won't get this until they pry it out of my cold, dead hands! Okay, he's up there, Grandpa. We're not going to replace your cast iron skillet. In fact, let me have that. Okay, we're going to actually be using a cast iron skillet because they work excellent on this product that I'm going to show you. Now, this is a an induction uh, cooktop, and uh, what they call a hob. Okay, this is what it looks like. This is made by New Wave. It is an induction hob. So what that means is inside here is a coil of uh, copper, and when they put electricity to it, that creates a magnetic wave. And this cooks through that magnetic wave by heating up the uh, molecules that are in the pan and in the food. So it's a very efficient way to heat because instead of having a burner like you have on an electric stove or a gas stove, which has to heat up first and heats the air up around it, this heats only the pan and heats only the food. So it cooks a lot faster and it also doesn't release that heat into the room and because it stays cool the plate stays cool it's also a lot safer and i'll explain some of that a little bit more this is made by is the new wave pick flex uh, on amazon and why i got this one because they seem like a really good deal but they've been very expensive and they generally took way too much power for my small system because I just live with a 400 watt system because they only use about 600 watts on the low setting, 900 watts on the medium or up to about 1300 watts on the high setting. So they will run off of just a small system. That's excellent. Also, they're portable and compact so you could take them camping. You could stick it in a shelf just for when you need it for emergencies or use it all the time around your house or in your cabin uh, to save on expenses because this thing cooks at least twice as fast as an electric stove or a gas or a propane oven, which is what I use here at my cabin. And uh, this has a lot of special features on it. It has six different heat settings, so you can set it anywhere from low, uh, medium, medium, high, on, clear on, up to high, and sear. It has six different settings, and you can set the temperature. Those are set preset settings. And then you can also set the temperature specifically to whatever you want. Uh, so if there's, if you like your hamburgers or your steaks or your chicken at just the specific temperature that you want to cook at, you can set that on here and then you, it will cook exactly to that temperature a lot faster than you would or a regular stovetop. And it also has a great feature, which is a timer. The timer is excellent because that way you're not going to overcook or undercook your food. And if you're an absent-minded old off gooder like me and you happen to forget you had food cooking, uh, this will shut off so that it won't burn the food or possibly set something on fire and burn your house down. Okay? Because it is cool to the touch, uh, it is safer for senior citizens that may be forgetful. It's safer for everybody so that uh, you don't burn your house down. There's a hundred, what did they say, 143,000 homes burned down every year from cooking. A lot less chance you're going to set anything on fire with this because there is no fire, there is no flame, and it doesn't get the the cooktop hot at all. Now the pan can still be hot, but the cooktop doesn't get hot. It can get warm after the pan sits on it, so you want to let it cool down. But you can see right now it's completely cool, and I'll turn it on just to show you how safe this is. I can put my hand directly on it, and there's no heat, okay? I can't, it won't, because my hand isn't metallic. It isn't magnetic, and so it doesn't sense that there's any other magnetic 
uh, surface on there for it to translate, transfer the heat to and start the molecules moving. And it actually sends out an error message saying, hey, you started me up and there's nothing here to cook with. So we'll just clear that. It does have some beepings and quite a few warnings on here, which is really nice. What I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to, first I'm going to boil a little bit of water and then we're going to cook a hamburger on this thing using uh, the Geniverse Portable Power Station Home Power One. So I want to first show you how many watts this thing takes on the different levels. So we'll first start it on low. Now uh, by clicking the low button, that's at 100 degrees Fahrenheit. That's actually not warm and hot enough to boil water. Uh, but then I'll show you on the different levels what it uses on the screen here. Uh, it will show you how many watts we're using. So I've got it on low. We'll give it start. And on the screen here, you can see that it shows it is using... 638 watts 640 right around 640 watts on low so now we'll switch it up to medium low on medium it shows us it's, it's using right around uh, 850 watts on medium and on high on high it is using just a little less than 1300 watts about 1290 right around there about 1290 watts on high so then you can see this is already steaming just that amount of time that I had it done that isn't even a minute yet uh, on 425 and right there folks it is almost starting to boil and now it is boiling so you can see this so that was probably less than a minute to boil this water in this pan here and it is boiling rapidly so we're gonna shut this down now cuz I don't need boiled water right now so it took under uh, two minutes a little bit over a minute in order to boil that on this induction hob compare that to a conventional electric stove or a gas stove or a propane stove like I use here at my cabin that can take anywhere from five minutes up to eight minutes to bring water to a boil so you can see that you're greatly reducing at least by half the amount of time that's going to take you uh, in order to cook boil water or or make a meal uh, and so you're going to be saving energy that entire time so you're going to be using less electricity you're going to be using less gas or less propane by using one of these induction cooktops. That's a big savings on, on your expenses. And if you're using solar power, you're cooking completely 100% for free. My Generarch, Generverse power station, is completely powered up by my 400 watt solar power system and is, is using free solar energy for doing this cooking. So I think it's a really good deal that you should probably look at again will work well just at your regular homes uh, so that you're not using up your electricity and your gas uh, for cooking but also great for an emergency power situation uh, where you may have a power station or a generator uh, that you could run one of these to cook a meal for your family uh, if the power happens to go out or if you're into camping fishing that sort of thing where you take your power station along you want to cook a meal and you don't want to have a an open fire or something like that a lot of places won't allow an open fire anymore you could use one of these you could use them in your campers or your rvs i think they're a good unit <laughs>